at this happening. All right. Fingers crossed that this is working. It's a Christmas miracle if we get it. <laughs> Christmas miracle. Huzzah. Welcome, everybody. Yes. Jimmy Carter is here. Hey, Jimmy oh, Carter. President. Yay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, welcome. 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 There is a, a slight delay between what I say and what is broadcast. So I want to say thank you in advance for your patience because there might be a few moments of strange and awkward silence. Um, but with that being said, hi, my name is Alexandra Goodrich. I am the uh, coach for this wonderful improv dojo of people you will find from all over the world and, and the United States, <laughs> predominantly United States right now, but all over the world. And I am very excited to uh, present to you an amazing group of improvisers. Um, it is 15th century stationary. They will be doing some long form for you tonight. So you will be gifted with a 25 to 30 minute uh, show that is completely unscripted. And the only ideas we get are the ideas that are coming from you, the audience. So as an example, I would love for some help. Can you guys, please type in the chat box um, a word that is either your favorite word or a uh, made up word that you really uh, enjoy using quite often. That would be most helpful, please and thank you. And while you are all doing that, I would love to welcome to the stage 15th century stationery. Come on up, you guys. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hey, everybody. Ooh, that's a good word, Jimmy Carter. All right. So we have people from all over the world, including stuffed animals as well. With Sylvia. So I would like to, you know, introduce, and I will let um, John uh, continue the introductions. Thanks for thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, you're going to you're going to have the time of your lives, as I advertised in my Facebook page, which was free. Uh, we're going to do a show that's better than anything. Bob Hope, Dean Martin, even Taylor Swift did. And today is Taylor's birthday. So I'm being bold about that. Uh, we're 15th Century Stationery, and uh, you got the dope from Alexander. What I'd like to get started so we can uh, move on with this uh, non scripted show. And it's not scripted. You can see. It's, there's nothing there's nothing on the paper so um what's an item that you would find in a doctor's office or in a nurse's station some some kind of item in in a, in a place like that hmm. and while you guys are typing uh your answers to john's question um we have a couple of words you guys that came our way i'm going to give each of you a word to define um, and I'm sure you guys absolutely know uh, what these word definitions are. Um, we're going to start with Mark, um, and your word is defenestrate. Ooh, defenestrate. That is the uh, movement in CrossFit where the glutes are in full like span and you're leaning over, you get the snatch bar, and you defenestrate um, to, to full extension. Um, it's, it's a very technical term, and if you do it wrong, you will pull your hamstring. Phenomenal. That is indeed what exactly that word is. Thank you, Mark. Um, John, I'm curious, do you know what the word Sir Gurglius? <laughs> Sir Gurglius? <laughs> Sir Gurglius, you know, it's interesting. I do know that one. It's funny because I was just reading about Magellan and when he circumnavigated the earth and, and down at the bottom of, uh, of Africa, that's Cape of uh, Good Horn, Good Horn. Yeah, there's a certain tidal wave that moves through there that's not so dangerous like South America's, but it's Sir Gurglius. And what happens is that it takes the ship and it makes it into a figure eight. And it goes around this figure eight repeatedly until uh, the wind shifts a little bit and then it sets it straight on its way. So it's a Sigurlius, um route or path, yeah. Nice, very nice. 
Um, Monica, I'm going to give you the word uh, riboflavin. Ribo, what? Flavin, yeah. Riboflavin. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that's a uh, um, uh, word coming from um, you know the Jewish word. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's 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 about the good flavor of uh, you know this round um, bagels. So that's <laughs> that's the it's just the it's just the um, uh, expression of very good taste. You know, it became a new word, like a new meaning, and it means like that's very, very, very tasty. Nice, beautiful. Yeah, abs it's yeah. very often spoken in the bagel shops of New York. Like, <laughs> yeah. I want that riboflavinous bagel. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> and um, to to end it, um, uh, Sylvia, would you please uh, tell us what the definition of uh, platitudinous is platitudinous. Okay, so um, you know when you have like a platoon, which is basically people partying, um, and you 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 say we're all platitudinous, as in we're just like all having a jolly good grand old time. Uh, you, it's usually used around like specific celebrations. Um, and usually, it, this word usually services when people are drunk. So it's just one of our brain's natural responses to a very much of a party scene. Um, it's just sounds that we utter sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. But Perfect. So thank you all. Um, now, and those words, as you guys who have sent us know, um, if you check the dictionary, we got it completely right. Yeah. Um, and while you guys were giving us these amazing definitions, we have some fabulous um, suggestions that came in. Uh, we have tongue depressor, hmm. pen, rubber gloves, stethoscope, hmm. defibrillator, medical records, dirty needle, scrubs, and tissues. Ooh. All right. Yeah. I know it's quite a lot. This is a good group. Run it down one more time. So, uh, tongue depressor, pen, rubber gloves, stethoscope, defibrillator. All right, we go. Medical records, dirty needles, scrubs, and tissues. I think, Monica, you gave us a thumbs up for, uh, was it stethoscope? Stethoscope and tissues. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, uh, go. let's go with the stethoscope. Thank you to Lisa stethoscope. for stethoscope. All right. Stethoscope. And without further ado, we okay. present stethoscope. 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 Hey, guys. Um, let's get the whole team up. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Um, stethoscope sales are down. Like we need to get them back up. Doctors are not using them as often as we uh, would hope. So we need some ideas mm -hmm. to like make these pop, make this just like a, a new pizzazz. How can we bring stethoscopes into the modern day era? Glitter. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. yeah. Glitter. Yes. Glitter on our stethoscopes. Love that. Have, 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 uh, music like rap playing when they're not listening to the heart like it automatically plays so when you take it off something you pull it off it starts giving you music nice oh, music playing relaxing nice. between the between the operations or patients right yeah, right yeah, right I love that. I yeah, love yeah. That. i had an idea that we might do the sorry mark um that we might do you know like improve it because it's usually for heartbeat but if that can find some other diseases, you know, like scan more mm. of the body and see mm. it's not mm. only hard, but you know, blood pressure or how our mm. other organs are behaving, you know, that would be, I think, very helpful. I love that. I want to take that a step further, if I may, and say uh, it's it's stethoscope portable x ray, you know? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I would also like to pause it. Okay, this is a idea. Um, 
So we usually use the stethoscope to listen to heartbeats. So what if we can record those and we can just like automatically transform that into like a, a baseline for rapping, you know? Whoa! Like, wow. just like that, you know, just yeah. automatically done for you. And you will have so many more rapper clients. You'd have the rhythm, yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so John's idea inspired me. I was thinking wireless. Mm -hmm. So the little thing uh, is separate from the ears. So you have like Beats headphones, little earbuds. Uh, 15th Century Stationery is sponsored by Beats. <laughs> and uh, maybe have like those and, you know, that being separate. So like the whole Bluetooth thing. Mm -hmm. I love wireless yeah. stethoscope. Yeah. Really yeah, wireless that. sounds awesome. Wireless says, one other thing I thought of, you know, the, the little, the little uh, membrane that you put against the, the, the patient's body, you know, that's clear. You ever notice it's clear and it has the name of the, like the company that made it, you know, okay. they, they, there should be some, some changing colors going on in that. Ooh. That would be really cool. So you're hanging down and you see the doctor and the doctor's trying to tell you something and you're not listening to the doctor anyhow. So you might as well see some colors. I love that. One last thought and hear me out. You know, the portable x-ray I think is good. We're listening to hearts. But what if you're listening to a heart and it stops? It becomes an automatic defibrillator. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Zap that out of here. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Oh, we got these are some tra traveling doctors, you know? That's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so we've got some great ideas. We just need, we just need like a name and a slogan, something that's going to be like really catchy that people are going to just latch on to. Party Doc. Party Doc? Party Doc. Yes. Party Doc. I love Hearty that. Party Doc. Party Doc. Nice. Like H-E-A-R-T-Y, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Party yeah. Doc. Love Hearty. it. Love it. Love it. Hearty, Hearty, doc. Hearty doc, we hear all. Oh, that's incredible. That's that's what you think. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank all right. So much, Chef's kiss. Well, I've got these notes down. We and, hear uh, all. Good okay. deal. Uh, good good meeting, and I will see you all next week. Um, coffee and donuts outside. Oh, okay. Thanks right. a lot. Good meeting, guys. Good right. meeting, everyone. Yeah. See you later. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I think, or are you, are you mixing up the, you're, you're, you're mixing up the sprinkles a bit too much. I think it's, um, it just should be less sprinkles. There should just be less sprinkles. I can't believe you just said that to me, Jeremy, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, I am the sprinkle fairy sprinkles is what I do. Well, um, we need to conserve the environment, you know, we only have this many sprinkles and you can't just give every child their glam on, you know, just some children deserve to be ugly. All right. Jeremy, Jeremy, just because you are the fairy of bureaucracy doesn't mean that you always have to encroach upon, you know, the fairy of sprinkles. I think sprinkles even add, even if you have a, a, a child who is ugly, sprinkles and glitter make everything better. So, well, Jeremy, I, Susan, I have to encroach upon you because, oh, well, you're pay, you're getting paid because of me, right? Uh, and I, you have to take into account the company's resources. And I mean, by company, I mean world at largest resources. And, you know, there's just, there's bound to be uneven distribution of these things and not everybody can be happy all the time. How bad is the glitter shortage really? I think you're on your last three boxes for the quarter. Last three for the quarter? Yes. My new shipment just came in last week. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Susan. We should have communicated better, but you know, yeah. we just don't. We don't communicate. Not at all. I, that's a complaint I've had about the bureaucratic side of fairydom for a while. 
and I've never heard back and now I know why. I'm sorry I shouldn't even be talking to you right now really but um you'll you'll figure it out right you you'll figure it out. I'll do my best but Jeremy don't I mean you're 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 a pain in the ass but you're you know my friend I don't you're my friend too Susan Thanks. Uh, and I'm sorry it's gotta come to this but yeah um oh oh thank you oh oh no, 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 don't, don't waste it. Don't waste the glitter. Yeah, you look, you look happy. <clears throat> I'm the happiest a left lung could ever be. Well, I'm glad. Thank you. So... I was thinking of inviting people and making them more fun. I, I like people, just no smokers. No smokers. No smokers. No, no, no smoking yeah. is not healthy. No. Anybody, any organism. <coughs> oh yeah. You, oh, what? Are you are you okay? Ah. Uh. A little pleurisy, but I think it's going to go. It doesn't go on its own, I think. Nah. No, but this guy did a scan on me. I got scanned. Yeah. Susie, I got scanned. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It I was cool. I wish I was. Now you will be, you know, like a popular guy. I know. I know. I have the a goal. will talk about you. Everybody, nobody really, nobody ever talks about me. So this is going to be good because yeah. you know, who talks about their lung, you know? I mean, well, I think some people do. People think? do right? I guess, you know. We don't see it. It's inside of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's, the, that's the thing. You are getting to be popular. You will be hang on this, you know, the glass with the, the, the light. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. watch it and see all your parts. That's amazing. I, wish I heard. You be there. Yeah. I heard Pancreas was like so jealous. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, but he's like, it's, it's, glands are weird, you know. I get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And he's pituitary. How come he runs all those guys? And he's not even near us, you know? Oh, yeah. Watch this. Watch pituitary freak out. <laughs> See? See? He might control his little gland guys, but I control him. And you control a lot of yeah. You've said that you've kind of been feeling out of breath lately, like you just don't have, you know, time or space to to talk. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Um. Well, uh, I am really sorry to break this to you, Bill, but you seem to have a classic case of conversational organs. It's okay. You don't have to say too much. Hold up. If you want to speak now, you certainly can. Does my insurance cover that? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is insurance will only cover about 30% of the organs that you have. Now, if you have major organs conversing, you're probably going to have uh, more coverage, but if it's small things, mostly like, you know, glands or I don't know, yeah, gosh, you know, the gallbladder, the appendix, it's not going to cover that. However, it sounds like. It sounds like you might be one of the first cases of your entire body talking. Uh, 
excuse me i need i need your vocal cords to uh bring this one yes my wife isn't gonna believe this she she thinks i talk all the time is is it them it, it is and as a doctor and a professional and a professional doctor, I would recommend um, a prescription of ear, um, earplugs for your wife. And I'm going to refer you to um, Hop Johnkins University. Um, so I think, I think you will have this covered, but you're gonna be uh, under some medical experimentation for a while. Do you consent? You had me at experiments. I'm in. Uh, Dr. Sherman, Dr. Sherman, um, as the as the leading expert in um, as a leading oh. expert in treating the disease of conversing bodies, um, what are what are your latest you know what is your view on this um, on this new opinion um, that just telling yourself every day that your body needs to shut up? Well, what do you think about uh, this whole line of research here? I, um, we're just curious. I, I think I think every try is great. I mean, okay, you should try every possibility. So, just trying to shut <clears throat> shut up shut up my body or someone else's body, or, you know, mm -hmm. that's very, very uh, good idea. Yeah, yes. Okay. You know, I would try everything to heal a body. So if your body is talking, you should try any possible case. You know, you can go to, you know, to Chinese doctors, you can go to uh, normal medical treatment, try everything what helps you. And if you go uh, and you just ask yourself to shut up, you should do that. If it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, well, then maybe you have to go to classic medications. Mm. See, it's uh, I I I feel like recently this this rise of the disease probably has to do with you know all of the chattering noises in our heads from like social media and everything like that. So would you rec? I I think one thing that I've heard that is really effective is just bring a hammer to your head. I just keep doing that until you see little birds flying around. <laughs> and that, that I believe normally helps. Um, I know that you've written a paper about this as well. Um, but yeah, well, I, yeah. That's true, but that, that's a, an old paper. You know, I discovered that the pain we get, it doesn't <laughs> solve the problem. Right. It yes. solves this, you know, in the moment when that happens, but the pain stays and then people start to think about it. And there is a lot of, there is a lot of thoughts which really distract everything. So mm. uh, I uh, recently I was working on another method, which is like having another noise next to your head. Mm. So you're not <laughs> concentrated on your own noise and thoughts. You're just thinking what's happening here. Like, you know, having I a loud DJ next to you or having a radio or TV mm. or best mm. works when you have both of it. And um, that's really much better than hitting a head by hammer. Wow, I, I'm learning so much. Thank you. I'll definitely bring this to my own hospital. Dr. Smith, you're looking very relaxed. I'm glad because what I have to tell you is very troubling. Okay. The other day, the charge nurse borrowed your stethoscope. Mm -hmm. And when she put it on, she heard some of the most profane rap lyrics <laughs> she's ever heard. They were just anti-everything. Oh, no. And, and that's not acceptable in our hospital. I, you, need to, you need to do something to make this right with her and with us. Did those people have a problem with it? Ooh. When you say those people, do you mean 
the rap community or the music people? I think it's pretty clear what people I'm talking about. Yeah, doctor. This this isn't going well for you. You know, I, I, I didn't even bring my head around this smoking thing in the hospital. What What are you doing here? I shouldn't love smoking, but I do. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you can love it. You can love it outside. Put that out. You're, you're starting to starting to bother me. You know, this is the kind of attitude. Your cavalier attitude is what caused this. Right? I've heard you do some good rhymes. Why'd you have to go all anti everything, anti woman, anti anti race, anti religion, anti animals? How can you be anti animals? God damn it! I rode. I, I have a horse. How can you be against my horse? It's the most gentle, beautiful animal in the world. I went up the horse and I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to confiscate that stethoscope and uh, I'm gonna pull your privileges." Uh, yeah, you're not you're not working in this hospital for a while. You need to see it. Meeting. Group meeting. Group Good meeting. Day. Everybody. Hi. Hey. Hey guys. Hi everybody. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so psyched about our stethoscope rollout. Um, I do feel like mm. we need to do a better job at censoring the rap lyrics. Um, the like mm. the music that plays out of mm. the stethoscope because I think we're getting uh we we're racking up a little bit on the malpractice insurance right now. But um, I I feel like if we censor them just a teensy bit, that will address it very well. well Hear me out. I, I mean, this is and this is an old throwback, but like mm. there was a great television show that had some really good music um, back in the day. It could be something that could be still, you know, more modern, still mm. in the rap genre. But we just hit up the old artist, Osmosis Jones. And, uh, you know, because I've heard there's been a lot of like, you know, music that's like, you know, anti-establishment and anti, you know, just very, very negative stuff. But what if we had yeah. music that was like antibacterial or mm -hmm. antibiotic or, you know, antiviral? Yeah. 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 So. I like it. So, but part of the problem, I think we may need to talk to the software side of our of our group is is um, a lot of the stuff they're getting, I think, is coming from the internal conversational organs, mm. you know, and, and we need to get them to develop a filter for some of that stuff, because I had to fire. I, I mean, I heard that Doc got fired because he was like terrible in yeah. his in his yeah. stethoscope stuff. Good riddance. Good yeah, riddance. Right. We don't have time for that. We don't have a place for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. On a on a more positive note, though, because I think we're making some pretty good changes. Um, I like, you know, if we have this new music coming in, do any of you have a good idea for like a, a small jingle, like something you would want to hear um, kind of be sung or played by? Uh, we'll have you know, obviously, you know, guest artist Osmosis Jones making the music. But um, yeah. what do you think? What do you I'm think? terrible at rhymes. It like doesn't have to rhymes. rhyme. Yeah, it doesn't have to okay, rhyme. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if we could, like, if we don't get sued, we can try to use them Sting song, Shape of My Heart. Um, I love it. But I love uh, it. I'm trying to work that out, the rhyme. Just instead of Shape of My Heart, we do Sound of My Heart and then Somewhat Somewhere, you know? Sound, how, run that tune by me a second. Just the sound, uh, can we, go ahead. Uh, okay, well then, and then, uh, uh, and then wait. I'm sorry, I just I just keep blanking. It's like it's the, so the ending is like shape of my heart, but then like you try to do a sound of my heart, and then you need to come up with something before that. I I I I I, I love my hearty doc. Something like that. Can we get hearty doc in it? Hearty okay. doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Sound of my hearty doc. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That sounds beautiful. We get yeah. osmosis to, to flavor this up a little bit, pump it up for us. And uh yeah. 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 Um, I, I'm I'm not worried about Sting. Sting has a heart. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yes. He'll be treated by Hardy Doc one day. We're we're extending yeah. fast. And yeah. Yeah. Fun. And how long can he live? You know? I mean exactly. 
Exactly. That so, guy is a legend. That guy is a legend. The stethoscopes are going to go forever because this is this is some good revolutionary product. So he, we're going to still have, alive, right? I think so. Are they now? Okay. I think so. Speaking of people who are still alive and who would be great at advertising anything about Hardy Doc mm-hmm. Van Dyke. Dick I'm Van Dyke. Dick, Dick, Dick Van Dyke. Oh my God. Oh, Our boy is 97 today. And I think no one's going to show off what heart medicine and stethoscopes do better than that guy. Yes. And he can sing and dance and do that thing on the roof. Yeah. Wow. And have you yeah. heard his new rap album? No. No. It's, 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 good. it's good. It's good. It's good. Mark, okay. Mark, is the name of the rap album... Mary Poppin. <laughs> you know it. Uh, <laughs> Good meeting, everybody. I'll see you. Love this. Love this. See, see you all soon. soon. Yeah, see you soon. We'll get Thanks a lot. Yeah. Out. Hey, um, you have any? Do you have any? Have any glitter? You got? You have any like sparkles or glitter? I'm. I need I need sparkles or glitter. I'm not gonna last out the rest of the the rest of the week. Yeah, you 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 look like desperate for that. Yeah, I I uh, look. There wasn't enough for this quarter, and I ran out sooner than I thought because I was sharing. I was I wanted everyone to have glitter, and Veronica, you're you're the helpful fairy, and I just I need some help. I need some glitter. I have to be honest, I used mine totally, like all of that. Uh, I tried to make presents, you know, Christmas is coming and I just wanted to. So, yeah, I decided it will be very glittery and I will use a lot of it. And I didn't. Uh, 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 Veronica, excuse me, um, I have to, I have to speak to Susan. Veronica, um, th- thank you. I appreciate it. See you, Veronica. Okay. Um, hey, Jeremy. Hey, uh, well, I, I know you, I noticed you're running out of glitter. I'm all out, man. I'm all, I'm out. All, I'm out. Oh. I need so here's mine for rest of the quarter. All right. Are you Just, serious? I'm serious. I'm serious. This is yours. Oh Thank you. No, I, I know I'm the bureaucracy fairy, but bureaucracy runs on people. You got to have good relationships, you know, and you are my friend too. So I, I want to make sure you have what makes you happy, Susan. Jeremy, you're the greatest friend a fairy could ever have. And out of, uh, I'm going to go easy with this one, but can I give you a little bit of glitter out of just gratitude because you... You've saved me. I, I I must not embezzle any glitter that well. <laughs> yeah, it's technically yours now, but I gotta keep my gotta keep my slate keep clean keep the press yes. off of me, you know. Of course. So, yeah. Well, if there's anything I can ever do for you, just let me know. I, I'll you know, I'll 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 glitter your house or I'll put sprinkles on your donuts or um you know, decorate a cake or propose marriage to you, or maybe even, <laughs> you know, sweep your floor. Um, um, well, you know, anything you need. Did you say propose marriage to me? I didn't think you caught that. I, but yes. Are you proposing marriage to me, Susan? As a glitter fairy, I can do a lot with tiny bits of sparkle. And so, Yes, <laughs> I am. Mark. <laughs> None of the other organs will talk to me. No. Nobody likes the pituitary. But they're so mean. I just, I... <laughs> They all talk to each other and none of them talk to me. And I'm just, what did I do wrong? Hitty, what you're doing wrong, what you're doing wrong is you're bossing everybody around. You're telling all these other glands what to do, when to do it, how to do it, blah, blah, blah. You know, think about it. If you were a testicle, would you want something up in the brain talking to you and telling you what to do? 
No. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. And that's just two little ones, you know? You got you got the other ones going on in your body. You know, it's just like, it's too much control. You got to learn to chill. Take it easy, okay? Look at the lungs. Look at the lungs. Even, even when they're busy working, like running, when, when the dude's running, what's he doing? They're just opening and closing, opening and closing. You know what I mean? So that's that's it, you know? They're wondering they're talking about you. You're going to get indigestion. Oh, all these all these chemicals and neurotransmitters. I just I just get really emotional. I just get really <laughs> emotional. Understandable. Really emotional. Understandable. Just be thankful they stopped that old hammer to the head treatment. Okay, that was a bad treatment. So we've evolved beyond beyond that kind of brutal stuff. You know, now they use drills and put little holes and drain stuff. It's and you don't get affected by that. You're my right? friend. You're, yeah. yeah yeah are you are you my friend i'm your friend you can always count on your tonsils to be there always <laughs> i will never leave i will never <laughs> no 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 Bill, uh, Bill, how did uh, Hop Johnkins treat you? You're looking great. <laughs> wow, who would have known just getting my tonsils out would shut those other organs up? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, I let me see if we can. <laughs> They are muffled. They're still talking, but it's more of a like a low mumble. If if Hop Johnkins can't do it, is there like a ketchup clinic I can go to? I'm fairly certain um, that there's a ketchup clinic in Cleveland. Also, I think, you know, I... Um, I just think you and your wife are going to have to live with this, Bill. You know? Stay on, Bill. Uh, Mr. Bill, we appreciate your coming to the Pittsburgh Heinz Ketchup Clinic. Uh, I know a lot of people think of Cleveland for the clinic. But when it comes to Ketchup Clinic, you made the right choice. You are where it needs to be because Heinz... How many varieties? 57. Oh, I see. See, you knew in your head you needed to be here. Okay, so the voices that you're having, right? I understand they've been muted. I read your, your, your chart, but you want to get rid of them entirely. Is that right? Okay, okay, okay. So at the catch-up clinic, we have a couple of ways we can do this, okay? You know, and, and the first one that everybody thinks of is like mass surgery, you know, just go in, cut you open, pull out the noisy ones and shut you back up. But that, that's extreme, that's extreme. We, we take a different tact, okay? We give you a whole lot of ketchup to eat. Like okay. down, okay, now the body can only absorb so much ketchup and that which it doesn't absorb quickly ends up bleeding through the cells. It osmosisizes, okay? It osmosisizes through everything. Now, if it has more ketchup in it, then you know it's a talker. And then we just go in and pull those guys out. And nine times out of 10, it's stupid stuff like tonsils, appendix, gallbladder. Once in a while, you take a stomach out, you know? But that's, 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 usually, that's usually people from uh, Philadelphia, not, not, your, not your neck of the woods. Because they put mustard on stuff. They're weird. They'll stay on. Honey, you're, um, wait, just, uh, you're red. Bill, you're, you're completely red from all the, from all the ketchup they put you on. And I, doctor, is this, is this normal that he's like red all over? Very normal. Understand your surprise. 
understand your surprise, Mrs. Bill, but two things, okay? First of yeah. all, it's not the 50s. The Red Scare is over, okay? So he will not be ostracized. And, 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 and the second thing is that it wears off. Two, three years, it slowly fades. He becomes, years. He becomes pink again. Yeah. But listen to this. Listen, put these on. Put these, put the stethoscope on. Put this against his chest. Now listen to his chest. It's so quiet. Nothing. That no, this is this is this is freaking me out. This is freaking me out, doctor. I I Bill, I I know I told you many times that I can't stand how your stomach talks at night, but honestly, sometimes your heart says some very, very nice things to me, and it's the most romantic things I've ever heard parts of you say, and I don't hear that heart anymore, and I don't know if I could, I, I don't know if, if I could keep doing this. I can't live with you just utterly silent with no inner voices. I, I'm sorry, but I, I think I'm used to, I'm used to you talking and used to this little vibrant community inside of you. I, I... The thing about medicine, Mrs. Bill, is we're not certain. We're not certain that Bill. his heart was talking to you. Bill, it's your pituitary gland. Sing to her. Sing to her. You know what she needs. Baby, that's it. Baby, your heart, that's it, is like a heart that pumps blood. Beautiful. Into my soul. 100%, man. Baby, baby, <laughs> your heart, your heart, is like a heart. Forever and made of gold. Perfect. Wow. Oh. Does this mean the romantic heart is actually, you're actually, you can be a romantic heart? Well, okay. Oh, uh, well, uh, I. I guess I can get used to you being completely silent on the inside. I, as long as you keep singing and keep doing romantic things and keep loving me, I think I think we can we can work this out. Ah, pituitary glands got your back, buddy. And that's our show. Yay! <laughs> pituitary gland always gets you back. Pituitary <laughs> always has you back. Thank you. <laughs> you can't count on the testes. Right. I'll tell you, they're yeah. not reliable. The testes oh don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone who just stayed on to watch. I really appreciate you all. It means the world to us to have an audience as amazing as you. You know, listening, watching, playing along, you're fantastic. Um, so, yeah, this was 15th century stationary. Uh, we have a few other shows that were recorded, so if you want to check out what else we have, please watch. Um, my name is Alexandra Goodrich. I am the coach for these amazing people. And um, who else would like to go? I'm John Goodrich. Uh, no relation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Georgia. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I'm Monica and I have no surname, so <laughs> and I'm from <laughs> Poland. <laughs> I'm Mark and I live in Georgia. I'm Sylvia and I live in California. With that, everybody, thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanks again, everybody. And a wonderful holiday. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so very much. happy. Tune in. We do more of this stuff, you know, over time. So we're very well. clever. We're very clever, funny. <laughs> We're smart and funny. Yeah. Bye, guys.